be making bases. What's going on, YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers just like this one. Now, today's video, we're going to be going over the quickest way to make a little baby type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, the quickest way to do this is actually going to be to start with a software instrument track. And instead of going with Alchemy or one of these sound banks, let's just go ahead and go to the quick sampler and we're going to drag and drop some loops right into Logic Pro 10. So what we got here is our quick sampler. If you click on it, this is what you're going to see. Basically, this area right here is where we're going to drag and drop loops into. Let's go on our computer and find some dope loops. I click right there, go to all files. I can come over here to wherever my loops are. I have a new loop pack that I just dropped on beatmakingbasics.com. It's called Trap Piano Loops. So of course, we got to use some of the loops from that pack in this video. So check this out. The pack comes with 20 different original trap loops. Let's go ahead and use one of these and see what we can come up with for a little baby type beat. I'm literally going to randomly select one of these. Uh, let's just go ahead and go with that one. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, cool. So that's a pretty hard beat, I mean, or, or sample, but it's actually going a little bit too quick. Um, let's also go ahead and do this. If you um open up your quick sampler, click on follow tempo right here, and that should lock it into place with the BPM right here. So let's check it out. All right, bet. So now that we had that locked in place, we had the loop going forward and everything like that. It's in classic mode. This video, we're not going to be doing one shots or splicing it up or chopping up the sample. We're just going to play it as is. So I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to pull open the musical typing just so you can see what I got going. I'm literally just going to be placing, playing one note. But, you know, I'm just going to show you all. So let's go ahead and get it rolling. Bet. So now once we got our loop in here, and again, make sure y'all go to my site, Beat Making Basics, get that trap piano loops pack, man. I'm telling you, don't don't sleep on that. It's there's some fire in that pack. So make sure y'all go there. But anyway, after we got that rolling, um, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. I would say to go ahead and now let's play some type of uh some plugins on this to make this sounds a little bit more original. Let's see here. Um, first things I like to do, let's go ahead and throw this vinyl on here. This is a plug-in by, um, by Ozone, or Isotope, excuse me. Turn that dust down and that wear down. Turn this warp up just a little bit. Put it at 2,000. Let's go. I bet. So now that we have that, now let's start working on some drums. We're going to pull up this quick sampler again. And what we're going to do here is look for some drums here. Now, I actually already have some drums loaded and saved within the quick sampler. So I'm going to actually pull those up right here. And I'm going to start with this clap, this uh, trap clap. So a quick way to do this is actually to go to step sequencer. Okay. Um, if you click on the scissors, go to step sequencer to the piano roll right here and just click right there and that's going to click and create a clap sound for your whole beat and since this is actually going a little slower we're going to have to just double this up so it's all good all right cool so now that we have our clap the next thing I would like to do is go ahead and go with a hi-hat. I'm going to go ahead and start start with this quick sampler, load a hi-hat sound here. I actually already have one, and we got our hi-hat pattern ready to go. Now, a cool thing, um, if you're using the step sequencer instead of the, the uh, panel row to make your hi-hats, I would always recommend starting off with the six, uh, 32 steps. And it's going to give you a little bit more variation in your pattern. So let's just start off um, drawing in some, some notes here, and then I'll, you know, take it to the next level. All 
Let's see what that sounds like. If we want to do some uh, more detailed patterns, we can go to this note repeat option and we can like push this up or down and it'll make the notes a little bit more um, detailed. And you can go a little bit more in detail or in depth with this hi-hat pattern too. We can go to this note option and we can push this up or down and it will give us different notes on this hi-hat pattern. All right, bet. So now that we have a dope hi-hat pattern, let's go ahead and continue with this beat. I'm gonna first go ahead and name all of this stuff just to make sure that we're um, staying organized. So um, we're almost done here with this beat, but let's just go ahead and go with an 808 pattern. Still the same process, quick sampler, and we're gonna pull up our sounds. Again, if you have like an 808 or whatever anywhere on your computer, just double click this and then drag the sample right in in place. You can use these little knobs to like, you know, come right up on the sample if you need to. But we got this 808 pattern here. I'm actually not going to use the piano roll or the step sequencer for this. I'm actually just going to go ahead and play with the MIDI keyboard. Cool, so I'm just gonna freestyle this and then lay this down. I'm gonna push R on the keyboard, let's go. All right, cool, so kinda messed up a little bit on it, but it's all good, we're just gonna double click on this and it's gonna pull open our piano roll. And I can come in here and edit these uh, these notes. Quick way, just uh, highlight everything by pushing Command A, and then push that guy right there. Or you put a little swing on it. Let's check it out now. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, click this guy right here and click here and that's going to pull up your velocity settings. You just make sure all of these notes are um, pushed all the way up and then we can also right click on one of the notes for legato. It's going to pull each of those notes to the uh, very beginning of the next one. Thing I think I'm going to change here is this little last note. That note is fine, but I'm just going to change it.
And then for the kick, I'm actually gonna keep this simple. Um, let's go ahead and find a dope kick on our hard drive here. We're gonna create another software instrument track. We got the quick sampler, create, and, and I can go here and here and find another hard, like dope kick. Open that up like that. Let's try this kick and see how it goes. And actually for this one, I can push the letter P and we can actually start off with this uh, quick sampler track. It doesn't have to even be um, too detailed. So I'm just gonna push this. If you want to make your patterns a little bit more detailed, you can just simply go from 60, uh, 32 steps to 64 steps. Okay, cool. Another little tip here, if you really paid attention, like while the step sequencer is playing, there's a little white line that goes outside of each of these notes as it's going. And I was using that as a reference to go ahead and place certain notes. All right, so pretty much this is the beat, man. This is a, a quick little baby type beat, the quickest way in Logic Pro 10. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the beat and if you like this video. Also, make sure that you don't, if you don't do anything else, go ahead and subscribe because uh, we're coming back to back with bangers. Make sure you also definitely go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We got this brand new trap piano loops kit. You got to grab it, man. I'm telling you, it has 20 original royalty free loops that you can use in your productions and you can make hard beats just like this simple quick in a hurry you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and grab that also check out some of the courses they are full of uh you know information hours and hours of content and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video now i'll see you in another video we're out